Are you swiping all day on Tinder, but barely get any matches? Then keep watching this video, because I had the same problem, and solved it with some easy tricks. You might be thinking your pictures or bio isn't good enough, but the real problem is neither of these. The biggest problem is something you might not even thought about. It is the algorithm, also called, yellow. This basically is an invisible score for your profile, which determines whether you are showed to a lot of people or not. When this score is low, you will end up all the way at the bottom, of the endless pile of profiles people get to see. So all the people you've liked, might not even see you, or it might take weeks before they see your profile. Especially when you are a man searching for women. Because there are way more guys on Tinder than girls, so besides you, there could be like hundreds of other dudes that swiped right on the same girls, who show up before you, because their ELO is better. So to fix this problem, you need to get a higher ELO rating. That's why we first look at what the factors of this rating are. The ELO is mainly determined by the following things. 1. How much you swipe right. If you like everyone you see, you will get a low rating. This is because Tinder thinks you're a robot, or have no standards, which both will be punished. So you have to be a bit more picky by also swiping left, instead of only right. Don't only swipe left either, because being too picky will be punished too. Stay between 30 to 70% right swipes. So not less than 30%, and no more than 70%. 2. How often you are swiping. If you swipe a lot in a short period of time, you will get punished too. So don't swipe for hours straight, and not too quick either. Spread your swipes over a longer period of time, and take some time to look at someone's profile. 3. The amount of people you like who like you back. You have to play within your league, because if you like too much people that are out of your league, who never like you back you will be punished too. So make sure to mainly swipe right to people who you think you got a high chance of matching with. And 4. Messages. If you never receive and send messages to your matches, your ELO will decrease as well. So make sure to actually have conversations with your matches. Of course the amount of people who like you in general, and how high their score is, plays a role too but that mainly comes to pics and bio. But all these other factors I just mentioned, are easily improvable without having better pictures and bio. So now we know how to get a good score, it's time to reset your ELO for a fresh start, since your old score is messed up. This isn't as easy as you might think. Just simply deleting your account and make a new one is not going to work. This will not reset your score since Tinder recognizes you, and will even make your score worse. So to do a full ELO reset, we need to make sure Tinder doesn't recognizes you. If you really want a 100% fresh start, you have to use a new Facebook account, and new phone number. You even have to use a different Tap Store account when using Tinder Plus, and not link the same Spotify or Instagram account to your Tinder. Another trick for a better reset is changing your bio and pictures up a bit on your new account, because if you use the exact same, Tinder could recognize you as well. To test if your reset worked you could check the following, new accounts get a invisible new boost. For a whole day, your profile is shown to more people than normal. During this time your ELO is first calculated. After this boost, your new score will be active. So when you get more matches than normal in the first 24 hours, your reset likely worked. Now make sure to not mess up your ELO again, by following the tips I just described. This was everything you need to know about Tinder's algorithm. If you got any questions, comment below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. Good luck getting matches.